Handball steht. I'm here for my girlfriend. She's 17. I'm 41. Her mom signed custody over to me. You're sleeping with the girl that you have custody of? Yeah. Get off. Okay. When you're sleeping with a 16, I don't give a damn if it's on the law or not. That's abuse. You are a pedophile. You yeah, call him a pedophile and you give him custody. If you know he's sleeping with her, why would you sign your rights over to him? She needs to go to school. What are you saying? That you as the mother cannot make your daughter graduate high school, but some strange he's, dude can? You pushed me off on him because you didn't want me. Why did you do it? Now was a good time to like break it off with him so you can go on with your life. Turn you on. are a creepy old guy. I don't see a future with us. Welcome to the show. My guest is Andrew. Andrew, why are you here? Uh, I'm here for my girlfriend. Uh, she's 17. And uh, you have a 17 year old girlfriend? Yes, I do. How old are you? I'm 41. She's having problems with her mom and her mom is the one that signed custody over to me. You're sleeping with the girl that you have custody of? Yes, because everybody in her family does drugs. She had to get out of that. So everybody does drugs, you're sleeping with her? Uh, no, no, that's not the way it happened. Well, how did it happen? How do you, how do you end up sleeping with a child that you have custody of? Because uh, I got custody of her, her mom signed her over because uh, she didn't want her anymore. Okay, so you're doing a nice thing by taking a child in. No, I'm doing a nice thing because uh, she, uh, uh, every, her other brother does drugs. Her mom lets him do that. Uh, the guy just got well, I want to know how you make the leap of having custody of a child to then begin sleeping with her. How do you make that leap? Here's how it is. You go from... In fact, why don't you tell it with your ass standing up. Get up. Okay. She was eight. She said she was 18, and I ain't supposed to be less than 18 on this chat line. So I met her on the chat line. Thought she was 18. When I met her, I thought she was 18. So it's not like I looked for a little 16-year-old girl or 17-year-old girl, and it's legal in Iowa. It's totally legal. So it's not like I'm doing anything illegal. Don't you have any uh, moral compass inside oh, yes, I to do. say, you I'm know not what? I'm, I just I'm in my 40s. I shouldn't be sleeping with a teenage girl. <laughs> The only thing I got to say of that part is uh, Hugh Hefner, and he's got 18-year-old girl, so what, 82? So what, what do you say about that one? I think 18 and 16 is a big difference. Uh, well, so do I, if I knew she was 16 at the time. Oh, well, what, when you meet an 18-year-old girl, so you just what, you jump in bed with her? You don't say, oh, well, maybe here's that high ID. school jacket is throwing me off a little no, bit She here. didn't have a high school jacket. She was a CNA, registered nurse, uh, working at a nursing home. How did I know a 16-year-old's doing that? What did you know about her? I knew about what we talked about, like every night on the phone. And then when I finally met her, uh, I found out she had a lot of problems with her mom. Trying to help her out is yes, what you sir, were doing. Yes, I was. I was and, you, and, and when you're help, trying to help her out when you're sleeping with her, what kind of help is that? No, it wasn't then. It's it just, wasn't. It's just really you're a 40-year-old creepy guy trying to sleep with teenage girls. No. I have never done that. I wasn't out looking for that. You've never done it. You said you are doing it. Yeah, well, I never just went and looked for her. The, what are you doing like on a chat 16, line? What are you looking for? On chat, like talking to girls. I thought she was the right age, like she said she was. Oh, so nobody lies on the internet. No, I'm not saying that. But when I found how out, you I broke it you, off. How old did you tell you were? I, I told her I was 37 at the time. Yeah, so you're lying too. Yeah, yeah. But on this line, it's, you're supposed to be 18, at least on that line. How do you end up having custody of this girl? Okay, her mom couldn't uh, take care of him. She was letting her other son, she gets social security from her, from her oldest boy. He in the house every day. Her younger brother's 15. Uh, her mom's boyfriend at the time was doing crack and a whole bunch of stuff and she couldn't go to school. I hear it in the background there. She's trying to, when I found out she was 16, I broke it off. Her mom called the police on me. So I broke it off then, but then the police came over and said, you know what, in Iowa, it's legal. The police came over and said, go ahead, keep sleeping with them. Yes, it's legal. They, they said it's legal. There's nothing we can do about it. So I didn't even know that at the time. So, and so then, you weren't even sure if you were breaking the law or not? Oh, no, I wasn't. I, I, I broke it off with her. You broke it off? Yeah. 
And she kept calling and crying and crying. So uh, then I felt sorry for her. I told her, well, you can finish school down here. How did she get down there? She took a bus down. Who, who did somebody send her on the bus? No, I, I paid for the bus ticket. She came down. Uh, we fell in love, and I've been How with her. How fast ever. did you fall in love? It was a few months, a few months. When you're sleeping with a 60, I don't give a damn if it's on the law or not. That's abuse. If you want baby, you said, how would you like to live with your boyfriend? I told you, you know, you pushed me off on him because you didn't want me. Why did you do it? How long did it take you to have sexual relations with her? Over two months. Over two months. And she stayed with you this whole time? No, no. I've seen her a couple times here and there. And then I met her for the first time in June. We met in March. And uh, we were, you know, talking on the phone every night. So you can't help who you fall in love with, you know? It's not no, like you I can. You can say, no, you're a child. I'm not going to fall in love with you. you know? well, she, was a, she was a nice person. She what? I said she's a great person in science. She needed help, and her. So be a mentor. If you're, you're in, again. I'm 45. I can't imagine dating a teenager, being with a teenager. What, what would you have in common with them? She went through. I've been through a lot of problems. Plus the all the influence you sway over a teenager, you'd be taking advantage of them. Oh, I, believe me, I haven't been taking advantage of her. You're sleeping with her. I say that's taking advantage of. Oh, her. I don't think it is. <laughs> you know what? A guy like you can say all you want that you're trying to help this person. You're not trying to help anybody. You're doing it for your own sexual gratification. You want to sleep with a teenager. That's what you want to do. That's why you're with this girl. It's not because her <laughs> are doing drugs or anything like that. You want to sleep with a teenager. I didn't know she was 16 at the time. At some point, you paid her mother $100 so she could come visit you, right? I sent her $50 for her birthday. Uh, her mom uh, needed money for I don't know what, uh, pay bills or something. I told her, is there any way I can come see her? And I, she said she needed another $50 for something. So I paid $50 to go up and pick her up. And not only did she let Brittany come down, she let her other daughter come down. Never even met me before or anything and knew I met her on the chat. So she sent her two, eight, two, day, two teenage daughters to come spend overnight with you? Yeah. One's 16, the other one's 12. Or, I, I'm, yeah, I think she was 12. Why would you let a 12-year-old come stay because with you? Because we That you've never met, that you don't know the parents. Because it was her sister. It was her sister. So these are young teenage girls. These are girls, you, you're, you've never met their parents. You obviously thought you were doing something wrong because you broke it off. And now you know this other girl is definitely 13, 12, right? Why would you let her stay in your house? Well, because she wanted to come down and have a good weekend. We went to a water park. And you don't see anything wrong with I that? I don't see anything. I got two kids of my own. She wanted to meet my other little daughter. They were talking to each other. How old is phone. your daughter? A 11. So if I called your daughter up and say, you want to come to a water park with me this weekend, you'd have no problem with that? Oh, definitely. I wouldn't do that. Yeah, I would hope not. Yeah. Well, I was wondering why your mom was, was doing well, that. Well, so why would you do it then? No, oh, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't let my daughter go nowhere with somebody like that. So it's all right for somebody else's daughter to come stay with you, but you wouldn't allow your daughter to go meet a stranger then, right? No, <laughs> you're damn right I wouldn't. Well, then I'm saying stranger danger. Why are you doing it? Because I'm not. I know how I am, and I'm not like that. You know, you know how you are. What do we know about you? That's... We know that you'll sleep with a 16-year-old. Well, not knowing. Not knowing, but you did know at some point. And you still continued to do it. No, oh, because I was in love with her. You were in love with her. How long after did you find out that she was 16? About five months. Five months, 
And she's lying to you? She's saying she's 18? Yeah. So you fell in love with somebody that's been lying to you about their age the whole time? Uh, yeah. That didn't, give, that didn't bother you at all? Well, it bothered me. this relationship me. built on love that she's lying to you the whole time? Well, yeah, it bothered me. Then what did you do about it? I broke up with her. And she kept calling me and crying and calling me and crying and, and everything that's going on up there. I felt And you didn't for say, you know what, I can't do this. You're 16. Stay with your mother. You don't know me. I'm 41. Goodbye. I, I, I did kind of do that. But then kinda. she called me back, called me back, and I felt sorry for her. She didn't have nothing. She wasn't going to graduate. She had things going on there. Everybody's and doing Again, you never around. met her mother. No. And at some point, the mother signs over custody to you. Why? Because uh, she couldn't take care of her. She couldn't take care of her. She said that she wasn't going to school. And, and she really she, doesn't know who you are, right? Nope. So she let Brittany, since she was in love with me, come down and live with me. Maybe it's the men that you allow to enter your life. This guy smoked a dope with your kids. You yeah, call him a pedophile and you give him custody. I did. You pushed me off on him because you didn't want me. And you said, how would you like to live with your boyfriend? I told you, you know. You are the guy. Get off my stage. You don't know the story, so I'm just I don't saying. know the story. I don't need to know the story. I, no, I do know the story. Creepy old guy, young teenage girl. You not, taking advantage it's of. It's nothing like that. Oh, it's nothing like nothing that. Nothing like that. Okay. It's true love, right? It is. I love true her. True love. I do love her. You, you, you She'll be 18 in two months. You're acting like it's, she's like 16 right now. I still love her. She still loves me. So, so what? As long as I start dating a 14-year-old and I stay with her until she's 18? No, I didn't say that. So you're now you're just that's, ba that's basically what you're saying. No, I'm not. You're still with her. It's okay. It is, has nothing to do with that. Has nothing to do with You let girls that you didn't know, you don't know their parents, you have no relationship at all, and you let them come and stay in your house. And you wouldn't let your daughters do it, but you'll let somebody else's daughters do it. Yeah, but well, you my daughters ain't going to have an atmosphere like she's had to go through and her kids have to go through. So, so what? So they don't get to go and sleep with some old guy? Uh, it would, they wouldn't even, that would never even happen. And I wouldn't Why? even have an atmosphere where Why everybody's that doing happen? drugs Why wouldn't that every happen? day of the wouldn't week. Wouldn't that be a good thing if some older man wanted to take care of her? Uh, One of your daughters wanted to take them for a nice weekend? What's it, wrong with that? It wouldn't happen. Why, though? Because they wouldn't even It's want a good thing. You're describing your situation as a good thing. Don't you want a good thing for your daughters? And I do, and then my daughter will have a good thing. Well, why can't she have it? Maybe, I'll, you know, like I said, I'm, not, I'm free this weekend. So basically, you're the hero of the story. I didn't, they didn't write that on my cards. You're the good guy hero rescuing 16-year-old girl, and you're helping her by sleeping with her. I'm just here to help her out. I didn't even want to come on this show. And I'm here to help her but out. But you did, Because right? she has a mom and a guy just got out of prison, does crack, did crack. 24-7, there's people running well, in and out what? Her She house, definitely sounds sketchy, drugs. too. She sounds very sketchy. Let's bring her and her husband out. Pedophile. Whatever. Nothing but a pedophile. Well, why'd you sign your daughter over to me? Because the best thing that I wanted time to do for her was you are a pedophile. Oh, uh, whatever. You why'd you sign your daughter? Kids. You left You signed kids. your daughter you over to me. You lied to me in the very beginning. I'm brother and uh, uh, oh, can we have it for the weekend because to go look at the he's college? Because sitting there smoking drugs with he all your kids. He wasn't even around my house. Oh, whatever. He's fucking dope with all your kids. January. All your kids. You are so oh. full of Oh, they're worth $100. A pedophile. Huh? Your kids pedophile. are worth $100. You didn't give me no money, Is pedophile. That what, you're saying? what did you give me? Whatever. I gave you $50. I sent Brittany $50. You gave me $50. no money. You dropped them off in the parking lot. To you me. are no money you gave me. You're a pedophile. Hey, you you play on small kids. Small kids. Whatever. You're the you're one. You're a pedophile. That... You're, you're basically saying you basically paid for children. Now. No, she. No, yes, that's exactly what you're saying. You're basically saying I could have been you sold anybody. your kids to me and you get. Right, you could have been anybody. I could have been anybody and but not you even know brought what? those well, kids that's back. That's the thing. You could have been anybody. She didn't know you who I was. You stay away from anything. teenage girls. That's what you did. She didn't know who I was. 
What I'm saying is I could have been anybody. That's right. They could have been killed. She would have known that, where they were well, at. That's right, creep. That's why you stay away from kids you don't know. That's why you stay away from children that you have no relationship with the parents. That's when you... There's something that could stop you. You could say, no, I don't know you. I don't know your children. But you don't do it. You don't do you don't have any moral compass inside you that says this is wrong. I shouldn't be doing this. No, all you think oh. about is your children. But when it comes to abusing somebody else's children, oh, I didn't abuse go, nobody's children. When you're sleeping with a 60, I don't give a damn if it's on the law or not. That's abuse. No, it isn't. <laughs> not with what she's going through. So it brings me to you. Why would you let your 16-year-old daughter go with this guy? Moment of time, they lied to me when they were younger. Okay, so she they lied, but you find a, out the truth. He told me that you're he was taking a, money from this guy. I took no money from that guy. I you took did. no money from that guy. My daughter takes care of him. You signed. You signed. My daughter over, takes care of him. You signed custody. I what did. does he need to be taken care of? He has no money. She takes care of him. She pays rent in his house, half the mortgage. Why did you sign custody? Here, because here's the thing. You signed. Moment in time, <laughs> are on drugs. She refused to go to school. But you don't know this guy. You don't know who he is. Understandable. Why would you sign your daughter over to a strange man that you don't know? We talked about it with Brittany and I talked about it with him. You, and what did you talk about? She said she wouldn't graduate, Steve. She was willing to I throw away her damn. whole career. Uh, listen, no graduation you know what? unless she okay. could go and be okay. with this man because you know she's what? Just keep talking love. Chinese because I don't give a what you have to say right now. <laughs> Explain, you want to explain how you gave your, you signed your daughter away to a stranger. I, you can't tell me anything that's going to make sense. And then you say you sat down and talked it over with your daughter? Yes, we did. So she what? Running away. And you tell her no. Then you keep locking her up. They you keep lock locking her up. She's essential age to have sex. I called DSH down there. She's not an adult. She can't run away, right? Until she's 18. They keep bringing her away. They might have sex. You run away. You keep making police reports. You go keep dragging her ass and you bring her home. I did bring her home. No. <laughs> No man would ever tell anybody else about the woman he loves. He would say anything bad about to anybody. <laughs> what a creepy old guy. Get off my stage. Get out of here. Give up. No, I'm gonna let the creep I'm gonna let the I'm gonna let the creep have her. I wanted her to graduate from high school. Then you make her graduate school. What what are you saying? That you as the mother cannot make your daughter graduate high school, but some strange He's dude can? Said he could make her graduate. We talked so about what? it. So what? I didn't want to be with me. Some so some guy calls my house, I'll make sure your daughter graduates from high school. Oh, go ahead. Thank you. It was not like that. How is it? It wasn't like that. How is it? She kept running away, Steve. Run away. Oh we filed God. police reports. She go down to and police go to his house, pick her up, hey, bring Goofy, her back. Do you think this sounds good? No, I don't think it sounds good. You think good, this is you know okay what? that a 16-year-old daughter's living with this guy here? Oh no, is it no, okay no that good. you sent your 12-year-old daughter to spend the night with him? You never met this guy, and you sent your 16-year-old and the 12-year-old to go stay with a man that you've never met. Talked on the phone. You talked to this guy on the phone. What do you know about him? No, he don't work. No, he has kids. Okay. He doesn't work and he's got kids. So why are you sending your daughters there? They wanted a weekend at the, at the water park. <laughs> they wanted a weekend at the water park, so you sent them to a stranger. You know, I don't care what you say to me, how, how you do things. You want to help her? That's great. I don't care how you treat me. As long as you, you do good by her, I'm good. Oh, so oh, just as long I'll as I do good by her, you could be the biggest piece of that right. walks on the face of the earth. Correct. And I will you don't care. That means getting her help, and that's what I'll what, do. What about the twelve-year-old that you're letting go? What? How am I supposed to help her? She's not having no problems. She's not well, having any problems. No. She's got a big problem. It's standing right in front of me. Yeah. 
Before you sent your daughter to him, did you look up his uh, his After police record? After he was there. After he was there. We called while they were down there. And you found out he had a police record, and what did you yeah. do about it? Called and told her about it. That's what he lied about his age. So you didn't go down there and get her? No, I have a vehicle to go down and get her. You what? I have a vehicle to go down and get her. You don't have a vehicle? I didn't have it at that point, no. So that stops you from going to get your yes. daughter from a criminal? Yes, I didn't have a vehicle to go down and get her. You didn't have a vehicle? No. Is there anything that you'll do for your daughters? Yeah. Like what? Anything for my daughters. Everything? Yeah. Let them stay with strange men? Yeah, I guess that's where you put it, yeah. Sign over your rights to him. It's a strange no. man. She held a temporary custody while she's in school. You That's signed over your right, your custody temporary to a custody strange man. Temporary custody while he she goes to school. While he goes to school. You know he's sleeping with her, right? Yes, I know that. Nothing to do about it. She's 16, consensual sex Nothing age. you could do. Then if you know he's sleeping with her, why would you sign your rights over to him? She wasn't going to go to school at the moment in time. She needed to go to school. Was not going to graduate? Go <sighs> drop out? She's going to school. willing to throw her whole life away for him. Everything. Yeah, but you know the mom's making it easy. Who who is this? Your girlfriend? No, this is my wife. This is your wife. Yes, we got married March twentieth when I got out of prison on parole violation. What you got? You got out of got, I'm I sorry. went back to prison on a parole violation. It just keeps getting better. They, they, he's saying. <laughs> he's saying she's throwing away her whole life. He's not telling you about the drugs there every night. He's doing drugs. Listen, you know what? I don't want to hear anything out of your mouth. I, I don't, you know. So your daughter's been living with Andrew for five months, right? Yes. And how often have you seen her in those five months? Three times. Three times yes. in five months? Yes. And why is that? Because she's been working in school. Working in school? Yes. Most teenage daughters see their moms on a daily basis. I talk to her every day. She calls me. You talk to her every day. Yes. How's how's Andrew? To her, we don't talk much about him. She talks about school. She talks about. Why wouldn't you want to talk about him? She won't bring up. You know, she's she having won't an talk adult about relationship him. with I him. I talk about him. She, she don't talk about him. Okay, bye, mom. She won't discuss him. So you you have no control, no authority over your children no, I whatsoever. Don't. No, I don't. Why is that? I don't know. Do you have any control over any of your children? The youngest one. The youngest one? Yes. The one that spent the weekend with him? Yes. How much control did you have that weekend that he was at, she was at his house? None at all. None at all. So your kids, all the daughters are involved with creeps? Yes. So how is it that you bring, raise all these kids and you have no control over them? I don't know. You don't know? No, they all they do drugs. They all do drugs. Do you do drugs? No, I don't. Never? I tried it. You tried it? Yes. Do you ever do drugs around your kids? Not with them around me, no. Anybody that you know do drugs around your kids? I'm sure there hasn't people around done drugs. He has before. He has before. Yes. The man you married did drugs with your kids? Yes, he has. What kind of drugs? Marijuana. He smoked pot with your kids? Yes, he has. And you, how old were your kids at the time? The age they are now, 15 and 19. Oh, he just recently smoked pot with them. Before oh, no. he went. Not just prison. recently. It was oh. back in July of last year. Oh, back in July of last year. So last July you were smoking pots with pot with her kids. Yes. And, and you thought that was a good idea? At the time, I thought I couldn't beat them, might as well join them. I thought maybe I could take them off of it, but I could see it wasn't the right way to go. And I realize now it's not the right way to go. And ever since I've been home, I've been doing my damnedest to get them off of it, to get them from drinking. They're in gangs now. Almost got shot last week. Do you, do you maybe see the pattern here or why your kids are so screwed up? Maybe. <laughs> Children want discipline. They want their parents to put their foot down with them so they don't get too off the beaten path. You haven't done it. It sounds like you blamed her for everything. And get off my stage. You are the cop. Get off my stage. Maybe it's the men that you allow to enter your life. This guy smoking dope with your kids. He ain't a pedophile. This guy sleeping with them. Yeah, but you, but you, you knowingly signed over custody to Correct. him. Correct. You he call him a pedophile. a pedophile and you give him custody. Yeah, I did. For her to go to school and finish school. So what does that say about you that you're signing your child over to a pedophile? I don't know. You don't know. What do you want to call What it? do you know? Not much enough right now. And then this guy smokes dope with your kids and he gets out of jail and you marry him. Yep. 
That's a good father figure for your kids, right? Yeah, That's going to right straighten now. them up. They're out of control. When they get out of control, I'm telling you the truth. I'll whip their ass. I'll do the best that I can. <laughs> well, you know what? If it was one child that was acting crazy, two, child, two children, but all their children, there's no guidance. They're all out of control. They're all doing whatever they want. She has no control over them. One's so 19, at some point, so, he's not so at child. what point, why don't we slap cuffs on you? You're not doing your responsibility. You're, you're bringing all this to you. You know what I mean? You got all these kids and everybody else has got to deal with them. Creepy over there's got to take care of your daughter. <laughs> police are dealing with your other kids. We can't keep them out of trouble with the you police. You can't keep them out of trouble. Why not? How do other they parents run manage to keep their kids out of trouble? I how do know, they manage Steve. to do that? I honestly couldn't tell you. I mean, how did my dad manage to keep my siblings and me out of trouble? She actually whipped someone's butt back then. They actually Oh, them. so that's the only way. You could kick somebody's butt. But now, they actually discipline so them. kids now, they're just, every kid them. goes wild. My kids do. Yeah, well, well, we know that. What does that speak to you of you? I can't control them. You can't control them. Nope. You take anything away from them, ground them, take stuff out of the room, give them stuff back, and it doesn't Brittany. matter to them. Let's bring out your daughter, Brittany. Mom, how can you sit there and say that? You sat there. He's drugged me down the stairs. He's done all that, and you sit there and marry him. He's putting a hand on me. He's putting a hand on you. you. He's throwing you against a tree. I was working. You weren't in my he's house. locked up. He said he's been clean for a year. Okay, what? July? He's it's been, been clean. Been, that's not been a year, has it? How long has that been, Mom? That has not been a year. He's been Luckily, clean. no. You sat there. You pushed me off on him because you didn't want me. You chose to go there. No, you didn't want me, Mom. No, whatever. What did you want about me? What? The only time you talked to me was when I got paid. No, I don't think. Yeah, it's it was, you Mom. called me. It's when you got the paid, so you wanted to come and down. And then you sit there and you ignored my phone calls half the time. And he since then wants to be a father after all the stuff he's done. He allowed you to drive without a license out of my house. And he sits there and he's doing all this, Mom. Look. Oh, that's a big major offense with what's going on. She had an accident. <laughs> had an accident. How, will, how can we control wait, wait, you, Brittany? At least she has access to a vehicle. And she wants to see her mom. She wants job. to see her mom, and so she got to drive up. up there. How can we control you, Brittany? When you go sleeping with, when you go out to these parties, when we lived in, you go out to these parties with 15 and 20, and get drunk control. and get. Let's say then you come me. home. Let's then you come home you talk and to talk this, to your mom. I, you see and you how talk this guy's your mom, talking to your daughter? You talk to your mom like she's this, this not your husband. And, and you smack your mom and everything else. What are we supposed to do? I've never laid do? my hands on my mother. Okay. You have. I've right. never laid my hands on my mom. Right. I'm have not you ever perfect. I know I'm no, not sir, perfect. I've never laid my hands on her. So you never threw in the hands on her. He has drug me down the stairs. He has. Yeah, you drug me down. You know why? Because you, you wouldn't mind. You tree wouldn't go to your mom like crack. she told you to. She told me to come get you. You, you wouldn't get out of your bed and walk crack. down the steps to go to your mom you to were explain high yourself and about you where you'd been all night. Did drag, how did he drag you? By her feet. By, no, it wasn't. It was by my arms. And then when I sat on the steps, you drug me by my feet. feet. You yep. dragged her down the stairs by her feet. Yes, I did. <laughs> and you're okay with that too? I respect. Yeah, I told her to come down and talk to me. She came in out screw with so the guys. So he dragged guys. your daughter down the stairs yeah, by her feet. Yeah, she was drunk. High herself. Came in there. I was not high. I was not smoking. Was he me. high on crack? No. No. Were no. you high? No. No, sir. That was the one time you weren't. No, I have, I was clean for several days throughout the week. So <laughs> clean. <laughs> but yes, I w I did smoke crack. Well, I didn't think that you didn't. Um, <laughs> I want everybody to leave the stage except Brittany. I want you to have a seat, Brittany. There's nobody on this stage as an adult that's in your life that is, is anywhere near acting responsible or really seems to have your best interest at heart. Your mom, I gotta say, I know it's your mom, but she, what comes out of her mouth astounds me. She's a friend to us, she's not a mom. She's more like a friend. She's she not even a friend, because she if she was a friend, us. a friend would protect you. <laughs> and why are you with Andrew? This guy is 41 years old. At first, when I first met him, he said he was 35. I lied about my age. Even and at 35, he'd be yeah, too old for you. I was thinking that, and we just kept talking, and I guess, I mean, one thing led to another, and. I visit him and I thought, I mean, I told him I loved him and right now to say the love's there, the love's there as a friend, but I don't think anything else because I want a family. I want to go to college, I want to get married and I don't think he can. I don't think he can be able to do the family that I want. 
So you don't want to be with them? I'm just not going to last much longer, no. Well, that's actually good to hear. You are a creepy old guy. Get off my stage. Get out of here. At some point, you gotta wake up and realize, hey, this guy's 41, he's yeah. a father, he's raising kids himself, not much younger than you. No, his son's two years younger than me. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You, you, and you said, what do you want out of life? You wanna go to school? I wanna, I wanna go fulfill my dream, go to college, get married, start a family. I wanna be more than what my mom was. I wanna go to college. I wanna be a better parent. Do you give him money? No, I pay. I pay somebody to live there when I was working. I was paying $100, $120 every two weeks. Because he doesn't so, work, right? No, his mom's living there. And I was paying to stay, and I wasn't really complaining about it because, you know, at least I had a place so to So here go. this guy doesn't work. He's living with his mom, and you're paying the bills. Some of them, yeah. I was helping out. I mean, What exactly did you get attracted to this guy? He was really, I mean, on the phone, he sounds completely different. He was really, I mean, on the phone, but, okay. he was really nice. He sounded real nice and on then, the phone, but you got to meet him. And then when I met him, I mean, it was good for a couple months, and then the fighting started, and I was like, this is completely what different. What were you fighting about? Just, like, stupid things. It'd be, it could be about my family. I'd be talking in front of my family. He, he's 41, and I don't have a chance. I mean, I don't really have a childhood, and I'm still, like, when I have a chance to be a child, I want to be a child. And it just feels like I need to grow up faster than what I am. Because I'm with him and it's like, I don't get to be a teenager. I don't get to go out and party or do all this. I, yeah, he's told me to, but I'm scared of what's gonna happen. And you went to him to get away from your mom or? Yeah, because everyone was in the house, one, two, three o'clock in the morning, screaming, walking in and out of my room. I mean, I didn't have a door in my room. We had a sheet over my, me and my sister's room. We had school. I turn around and I mean, I was going late to school, couldn't get up for school. She wasn't, I mean, she didn't give me no advice. She didn't get me up to say, hey, wait, let's go, let's get a move on, let's go to school. Every time she'd wait, every time she'd get up, she'd wake us up yelling, screaming, get up, you know. And finally, I got to the point, I said, you know what, Mom, I really want to drop out. I said, I want to wait till I'm 18 to finish school. I said, what else am I supposed to do? I said, I'm not going to graduate. There's so much drama going around. It sounds, though, from what you're telling me, when you went to Andrews, it didn't get that much better. It was a little bit, and then the fighting started. I still, I mean, I actually went to bed on a decent hour. I mean, I wasn't up really late. And I got up in the morning. I mean, I get up in the morning at 7 o'clock. I get ready to go to school. I live a block away from the school. I graduate in, like, 15 days. I mean, I'm on the right path. I just need to figure out a different one to go on. What would you like to happen today? So I want to show her, you know, you weren't a mother. Do you want to ask your mom why she signed over your rights? That, there's a lot of stuff. I mean, there's not, I mean, we've done a lot and there's, nothing's happened. I mean, Well, I want you, I, I want to bring just your mom out so you can talk to your mom. Let's bring your mom out. There's your chance. Mom, why did you sit there and you didn't talk to me about it? You just said, you brought it to my attention one day, you said, how would you like to live with your boyfriend? I told you, you know, I'd have a better life. I'd be able to graduate, get a job, you know, be able to support myself. And then like less than a week later, you gave him custody, you signed your rights like you didn't care. You, you went around and you didn't care. You wouldn't go to school. Why did you do it? You wouldn't go to school. It Brittany. don't matter, Mom. You're supposed to be a mom. I was a mom. No, you weren't. You weren't a mom, Mom. What's the longest we stayed in a place? What, kindergarten through fourth grade? I've had to meet so many different people, many friends, and then you promised us we could stay in finish out my senior year. And because Ben got locked up and he couldn't come to Illinois, you decided to give up everything. We had our life going, Mom, with or without him. We were better without him. It's like you pick him over us all the time. It's hard to even call you, Mom, really it is. Because you haven't been one. You gave Andy custody of me without a doubt in your mind. You didn't have no doubt about it. That's what you wanted me to you, do. Mom, it's not the fact. You're my mom. You're supposed to say no.
He wouldn't go to I was school. waiting for you to say no. I didn't know the first two times. I was, I was waiting for you to say no, you're not going. I was waiting for all that to happen, and you didn't. The first two times I did tell you no. You didn't. When you brought it to my attention to go live with Andy, and I said what I said, less than a week later, I called the school, got my stuff, and I went. You had no doubt in the back of your mind that it was wrong. You did it. We thought about it. We, we, we did. didn't talk, Mom. We All did. you asked if I would live with them, and I said I'd have a better life. Look, I got a car now. I'm in the process of getting another job. I'm going to school. I graduate in like 15 days. You're gonna graduate in May now? I'm graduating. You were gonna graduate in May. And I haven't asked nothing from you. I paid for my own cap and gown. I've done everything on my own. I haven't asked for nothing. I know. And then when I see you struggle, I feel bad because I'm not there to support my siblings. You have to feel bad. I feel. I mean, for the Christmas, they couldn't. I mean, you couldn't give them nothing for Christmas. I sent money so they could have a Christmas. Okay, They're my that. siblings. I mean, my sister is 13 years old. I want her to see a better life. I want her to be raised by a mom, mom. You sound like a, you sound like a friend or a sibling. You don't sound like a mom. I want her to have a mom and not a, not a dad like Ben. Well, that's her parents are. Her, her dad her is not Ben. We are her parents. Ben's nothing. Ben controls us. Ben tries to act like our dad. He does not control her. You met him. He got locked up, you met him again, you forgave him, you said, oh, it's gonna change, you're gonna change, he didn't change. Mom, he's not gonna change. He In three changed. more months, he's probably gonna go back doing this crack and doing everything else I don't again. Think he is. He's gonna keep <clears throat> doing it. He has changed. He drug me down the stairs, Mom. Because you came in drinking late. And you didn't care. I was upstairs, I was minding my own business, you were yelling at oh, me, I told you. You came in drunk. You know what? You know what? You got a daughter here that wants her mom to be a mom. Children want discipline. Believe it or not, they want it. They want their parents to put their foot down with them so they don't get too off the beaten path. You haven't done it. You've picked a man over your kids. That's what you did. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. You picked him. <laughs> and you know what? You pass off the hard task of raising teenagers. You'll give it to anybody. You don't do anything for your daughters. Your daughter's asking for any kind of attention right now, and you don't care. You're showing no emotion, nothing. It's all on you. You take no responsibility. You blame your teenage child for everything. You blame her for nothing. Mom, it sounds like you blamed her for everything. And get off my stage. Thank you. <laughs> Concerning your boyfriend, Andrew, right? Is there anything you want to tell him? No, not really. Just, I mean, we fight all the time, and that's pretty much all. I mean, there's not a lot. I mean, well, maybe now's what? a good time to like break it off with him, so you can go on with your life. Maybe we can help you. Maybe we can help you, you know, with your schooling or whatever you need. You're going to be 18 real soon, right? Yeah. You'd be on your own. I don't know if you need to be involved with this guy and to be in a place where he's controlling you and and supporting him. This is a grown man with his own children. When do you get to live your life and be a child and be in your 20s? Mom, I'm do you, maybe now is a good time to break it off. But I'm not going to pressure you it's, if no, you want to do it. No, we fight too much. It's not going to work anyway. Well, let's bring Andrew out then. And I want you to stand up and do this with him, all right? Andy, yep. I love you to death, but I don't see your future with us. Uh, that's why I tried to break it off last I week and can't told see you to we leave. fight. You kick every other day. You decide when you want me to stay or you want me to go. I, mean, I want to married. I want to be married. I want to have kids. I want a life, and I don't think you can. Well, I told you because I do all the cleaning, all the cooking, everything. And she does all the working. Yeah, no, that's not true. I make sure she keeps her own money. She goes to school. I but have to you get her work. up for you school. You don't work. I have to get her up for you school. You don't work. And there's, there's another thing about that I ain't going to say right now, but I'm telling you why I don't. Well, well, but I've always worked a case. I've been in the military. I've always made jobs over 50000 a year. You don't work now. No, I'm saying right, right now, but I was injured at the time. You were injured at the time. So I'm just telling you, and I'm telling her, she don't work, she don't clean, she don't do nothing. And I tried to kick her out five or six times. I this is the love of your life. But I do love her. I do because we fight because she acts because like her mother. Died. She th she's trying to be all, she's lying to this crowd, getting her see, all. See, exactly the way he's talking right now, this is the kind of this man is, that you need to stay away from. Any man. There you go. Yeah. I tried to break it off with her. She yeah. keeps calling you me tried. You tried. 
He tried breaking it off with you. Well, let's make it real successful. We're going to break it off right now. Any yeah, man that's going to stand in front of public and tell the world, tell anybody, even if you told his friend, you're his woman and he's going to downgrade you. He's going to insult you. Oh, he's yeah. going to say one bad thing to you and anybody. That's not the kind of man you want to be with. Every day. No man would ever tell anybody else about the woman he loves. He would say anything bad about to anybody. <laughs> And let, let me tell you something. The situation you're in, he wouldn't allow it to happen to his own daughters. Yeah. He wouldn't allow it. But you, he'll let it happen to because you're not his, and he's using you. No, I don't and use And you her. are a user. She keeps her you own. You are though. a creepy old guy. I have That's tried to do. get her. You know what? You're an abuser of children. I have got her out of that And only situation. hopefully someday you'll slip up and no. the police will lock your ass but up. I Get off never. my stage. Get out of here, please. Yeah. That right there, that's the example of what you don't want to end up with. That's a creepy guy that's using you, that's going to insult you. That's not love. I That's not caring for somebody. Day. I get That's called right. an elephant. I get called fat ass. I get called everything. It's not a relationship. Well, you know what? You're too good for him, so. <laughs> the, thing, the thing that you need to do is focus in on graduating, which you already got your head on your shoulders really good about that, about having a career that you want. You need to focus on finishing that school. You should really try to be around people your own age, other kids that are going to school that that are headed down the right path. Yeah, it's kind of hard though when you go to a school even through five months and you don't know no one. Well, I was you know in what, school though? for four years. You're not going to meet all a my friends. You know what? There. You're not going to meet a lot of people dating a 41-year-old. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> And I want you to come with me, and we're going to help you any way we can okay. moving forward, okay? Okay. Let's go. Stay.